Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and in this video I'll be talking about subtraction of decimals. But before I start I'd like to explain a few things so it's easier for us to get through the examples. So first I need all of us to understand that all whole numbers have a decimal point at the far right that is usually behind the last number. So for example when we have 15, 15 is a whole number, 15 is the same as 15.0, is the same as 15.000, and in fact, even if it's 15.000 and so on, it's still equal to 15. I just need you to remember that a decimal point is behind the last number, in this case, being 5. Use 0 as a placeholder. Not all decimal numbers have the same number of decimal places and therefore adding a zero can make the decimal numbers the same length without changing the value. So for example, when we have 9.2 minus 0 0.15, I'm going to show you how placeholders come into use. So for 9.2 minus 0 0.15, we can place a zero here that way both numbers have the same length so zero minus five it's impossible to subtract five from zero so we're going to borrow from the two and that becomes one and changes the zero to ten remember when we borrow it is ten the value is ten ten minus five is five 1 minus 1 is 0. Always remember to bring down the decimal point. And 9 minus 0 is 9. So for 9.2 minus 0 0.15, our answer is 9.05. Every time you get a question, remember to line up the decimal numbers vertically Use placeholders, in this case zero, when necessary. Subtract the numbers from right to left. As we can see from this example, as we were subtracting, we went in this direction from the right side to the left side. That's what I mean. And always, never ever forget to bring the decimal points down. When you write your final answer, be sure that your decimal point is present and in the right place or else then your answer is wrong. For the first example, we have 9.24 minus 3.12. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Always remember to bring down the decimal point. 9 minus 3 is 6. So our answer is 6.12. So for the question 9.24 minus 3.12, our answer is 6.12. For example 2, we have 13 minus 6.99. We're going to remember to bring the decimal point behind the 3 because 3 is the last number in the whole number, which is 13. And bring the placeholder zeros to make the length of both numbers equal. We're going to put another 0 here and then start subtraction. So 0 minus 9, it's impossible to subtract 9 from 0, so we're going to try to borrow from the next one, and it's another 0, so let's move to the 3. When we borrow from the 3, the 3 becomes a 2, 0 becomes 10, and we need to get the last number bigger than 9, so we're going to borrow from here again, mix the 10 and 9, and the 0, a 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. 9 minus 9 is 0. Always remember to bring down the decimal point. 2 minus 6, it's impossible. Let's borrow from here. 1 becomes 0. 2 becomes 12. 
12 minus 6 is 6 and 0 minus 0 is 0. So for the question 13 minus 6.99, our answer is 6.01. For example, three, we have 36.4 minus 8.25. We're going to bring down the placeholder zeros. So we can put a zero here and a zero in front of eight. Now both numbers have the same length. It's impossible to subtract five from zero, so we're going to borrow from the four. Remember that when we borrow, it becomes 10. So the zero is now a 10. 10 minus five is five. Three minus two is one. Remember to bring down the decimal point. Six minus eight. It's impossible, so we're going to borrow from the three, which becomes two. The 6 becomes 16, 16 minus 8 is 8, and 2 minus 0 is 2. So for the question 36.4 minus 8.25, our answer is 28.15. So for this example, I'd like to try on your own the question is 6.0001 minus 3.2456. The answer should be 2.7545. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to check my other videos on conversions, ratio and proportions, fractions, and decimals.